Removing files and directories is a key part of managing a Linux system. So let's take a look at how we can do this. Using the rm command, we can actually start to remove files from our directory. So let's quickly list what's in our directory using ls. And we can see that we have a directory called another test and we have a file called test file. Well, if I type in rm followed by test file, hit enter and then list again, you can see that that file has now disappeared because we've removed it. If we were to try and do this for the another test directory, we'd be told we can't do that because it is a directory. So let's have a look at some of the flags that are available to the remove command to see what we can do with it. So at the top here, you can see how to use this command, the options that are available. So usage, rm, followed by an option, and then the file. And you can see some of the modifiers that are available as well. Now, the one that you're probably going to use the most is dash r. It is worth noting that this is quite a dangerous command, and I'm going to show you how to use it properly. So let's clear to give ourselves a nice interface to look at. And let's take another look. So we've got the another test directory that we wanted to get rid of. So what we're going to do is type in rm dash r and then another test. Now dash r is recursive, which means it will delete any content that is held within that directory. And that is why this command is dangerous because it could potentially remove content that you want to keep that you didn't realize was in that directory. And sometimes you could even delete directories that are important to your actual operating system. As an example, if I was to type in rm dash rf and then forward slash, I would be deleting roots with no warning. That is a very, very dangerous command. In fact, there is really no real reason to ever use this command, but that combination could actually brick the server that I'm on. 